What is going on guys, it is Ashley here, welcome back to another Ashley video. Today, I'm going to be talking about my MacBook Air, my opinions of the past 10 months. My, my opinions have changed, my opinions have changed on this machine um, over... Uh, just about uh, 10 months that I have owned this machine. My opinions have changed a little bit on it. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why um, my opinions have changed on this machine. Now, first of all, uh, first of all, it, it the fans just, that is one of the main things that annoy me about this machine fans are just way too loud for my liking and and when i'm trying to make a video it just sometimes i have to i have to use my macbook for a video because sometimes i have to use quicktime on the mac to do a quick webcam video for like sometimes an Ashtag video, I've done it before uh, for this channel. Uh, Ashtag, uh, I've done it for random vlogs before my vlogging channel, and I've done it. I've done it quite a few times for my match reviews that I do on my main channel, Ashley Hartson. To be honest, the the fans are just so so annoying on, on this laptop. They're really really hot, and I just think they're really really dangerous as well because. I just, you're not meant to obviously, um, use your laptop in your bed because obviously it's a haz hazard, but if if I just want to chill out, maybe it's a weekend or something, I just want to chill out in my bed or something, I rarely do it, but in case like one, one weekend I want to, I want to use my laptop in my bed and just chill out and have, have a lie in because you know it's a weekend. It feels even more dangerous than it already is because of the fans. Because of the fans on the laptop getting really, really hot, I just feel like I can't do that. I cannot do that unless I pull the covers back or something. Because it's, it's seriously, seriously dangerous. Because of, of the fans, they're getting so, so hot, they could burn my whole bed up. They could, they, they could set my whole bed up into flames, and I don't want that. I seriously don't want that, so... So, uh, uh, the, the fans are, are really, really an issue now on this MacBook Air that I use pretty much every day to do, to do YouTube videos for random vlogs, my vlogging channel, and, and, uh, um, every couple of days or so, uh, my main channel actually also to do Wolves videos mainly, that's what I do. Actually, I only did a Wolves video because I do ETS2 on there as well. Um, but I, I I do that on the PC. I do that on the PC right in front of me right now. Uh, so I do the Wolves videos on the Mac because I do the uh, ETS2 videos on the PC. But uh, yeah, the fans are really, really an issue uh, on my MacBook Air. And that is one reason my, why my opinion has changed on this machine over the past like 10 months the second reason um is it's just getting it's just getting a little bit too slow now it's all right it's still all right but especially i have this bug on it where I'm in Photoshop and I'm trying to, like, if I, I get pictures from the internet uh, to use in my thumbnails, if, uh, um, if I'm talking about, if I'm talking about a particular topic, I, um, uh, for example, wolves, which I, I do, I do quite a lot. I like, I like to have, like, like if they're away, I like to have the stadium, uh, like the stadium where they go, like the te teams. Uh, stadium where they're going to uh, for my previews and reviews. It's just really, really annoying when I've downloaded the image and I go to search it, I search it up, 
and then I get into Photoshop, and it just completely crashes, and and it had I had the beach ball, I had the spinny beach ball, which is it, it happens far too often. It really does happen far too often, and and every time I I I, I, I try to put an image into Photoshop from the spotlight search, I just I just dread that happening, and. It's just a real annoyance when I'm using Photoshop and trying to do uh, thumbnails and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that is another reason why uh, my opinion has changed on this MacBook Air in the future, probably 2018, mid 2018. I need to think about when my birthday is coming up and when I'm going to be turning 13 next year I probably need to think about should I get another laptop should I get another laptop or, sh or, or would I be fine for another year I need to make that decision if I'm still going to be making YouTube videos daily then would I need a more powerful laptop because I don't really over these past 10 months I've, I've been more accustomed to editing all my vlogs and everything on on a, on a Mac and it just feels a bit strange doing it on a PC. In patches this year I have done it on a PC and it, it's been alright but I'm, I'm generally now more accustomed to doing uh, editing vlogs and stuff on a Mac and I, I really I think I really need to be thinking next year if it's giving me even more and more problems, should I be going out looking for another laptop to edit on? Probably a Mac, probably a MacBook Pro or something that's not too expensive. Should I be going out looking for something like uh, a cheap end MacBook Pro that's actually still usable? Probably one with an SSD uh, and maybe one with an, like an i7. Uh, that's around about the same price because that costs about 400 500 quid of eBay maybe maybe with a stroke of luck I could find a MacBook Pro for the same price um, a, an older version of because uh, this is a 2011 model so maybe a slightly new version maybe a 2012 MacBook Pro with like an i7 8 gigabytes of RAM preferably because uh, this has got four and definitely an SSD. The, the, that's one of the that's one of the main key points about that laptop. An SSD. It boots up. Still, after ten months, it, it boots up ridiculously quick than my Toshiba laptop that I had before. My Toshiba uh, laptop that was running Windows 10 that I was using before to edit my videos booted up ridiculously slow I mean ridiculously slow and that that MacBook Air when I got it was a it was a miraculous change a miraculous change in in boot up time and that is one of the main key points of that laptop but it's got many problems uh, and a couple of them I've just discussed it may seem like Ah, oh, it's only two problems, it's not that much. Those two problems, I just think, I just think that there may be only two, but they're not small problems. They're quite big problems and affect uh, me making YouTube videos and what I generally do on that laptop and and yeah i've just thought of a third i've just thought of a third of an annoying thing and it's to do with the fans as well when i'm watching youtube something lightweight when i'm using google chrome when i'm 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 on youtube watching youtube videos the fans think that somehow i'm doing heavy load work uh like i'm on final cut or something and then do a video, which I'm clearly not, I'm clearly on Google Chrome, just casually watching YouTube videos, which is clearly a light thing to do. But no, but no. It, it seems to think that 
I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of heavy lead and fiber copper, but I'm not. Uh, and I'm just watching YouTube videos, and the fans decide to ramble all the way up. And it's really, really annoying when I'm trying to watch a YouTube video, and, and I almost can't hear it. I almost can't hear the YouTube video sometimes. It's ridiculous. But anyway, if you did enjoy this Ash Tape video, make sure to smash that like button. And I shall see you in a few days, hopefully. Preferably uh, this weekend with another Ash Tape video. Until then, goodbye, guys!